Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Alex Williams and you're watching Fun Again Games on this Saturday. Uh, we are unboxing Clank in Space from Renegade Game Studios. This is going to be a whole lot of fun. This has been a highly anticipated game. Uh, the follow-up to Renegade's original Clank, which had an expansion as well. Uh, Clank in Space now takes you into the future in space and uh, we're going to have some fun with it. I do want to mention, I want to say hi to everybody who's watching on Twitch, uh, YouTube, and Twitter, as well as Facebook. Uh, let me know how the stream's going, and we are uh, trying to stream out to all these different places. So let's go ahead and open up Clank in Space and see what it's all about. All right. <laughs> You're right, Jason. I'm not in space, but, but the game is. At least, themed in space, right? I would love to do a live stream from space. Maybe one day. Alright, so first things first, we got the plastic off. And one of the things I love about it is that it's not just clink in space, it's clink in space! I think they've effectively written how Will Shatner talks, so... We've got that down. All right, let's go ahead and open it up. And once again, you've got the artwork uh, just like the original, but this time it's sci-fi and in space. This is, by the way, back here is Lord Erraticus. He's the, uh, the villain of the game. He's going to be taking place of uh, Nikki, the dragon from the first one. So, All right, so the first thing we see is our little advertisement for Renegade Games. Lots of great games from Renegade game studio out there. In fact, including Sentinel right there, if you take a look at that. Sentinel is our game of the week this week. You can get it for 30% off at funnigan.com until next Friday. All right, so we've got our instructions. Now, I actually don't know too much about Clank in Space other than that it has a modular board, things like that. I didn't even know that Lord Eradicus, I wasn't sure what they were going to do about the uh, the dragon, because we don't really have dragons in space, but all well, the dragons in space would be pretty cool. Alright, so you kind of get a glimpse of what the board looks like here. Definitely different from the original Clank board. I believe it's modular too, you're going to be able to replace some of these pieces. And just like the original Clank, there's, you know, there's some pages in here, but it's not a real heavy game. It's going to teach you everything you need to know. All right. First thing we get into is parts of our board here. I think that this is the uh, uh, the marketplace. We've got our little M here. And pieces of our modular board. That's pretty amazing. Just like that. <laughs> Pigs in space would be hilarious. So as you can see, this is these are all parts of the ship that we're going to be building here. And you've got your uh, life trackers, just like the original Clank, but this time they're on the side here. I like that they little, have little uh, death skulls in uh, space helmets there. <laughs> That's great. All right, and here's our, uh, I'm guessing this is our command track, our, our Eradicus track. This is uh, how many uh, clanks we're going to be pulling out of the bag. All of our tokens, these are going to be just like our artifacts here. And then, looks like we have some sort of maybe portal looking thing? I'm not sure what that is. That's pretty exciting though. It's all of our tokens. All right. Now, first things first, we've got our uh, little meeples and clanks in the different player colors. We've got blue, orange, purple, and white this time. And of course our uh, black clank cubes that are going to go in the bag. And this is pretty cool. Instead of having um, very similar meeples, we have 
for unique meeples. That's awesome. Was it really? I actually never saw the Pigs in Space uh, Muppet Show skit, so. This is our uh, Lord Eradica Eradicus. <laughs> I'm saying that. This is just like our uh, Nikki Dragon from the original Clank. This is what's going to move up the, uh, the command track and tell us how many, how many Clanks we need to pull out of the bag. And our bag, of course. Very nice. Now these are unique to me. These are not something that I can really relate to from the original Clink game. If anybody's watching, I know some of you bought these um, without looking, without having me look through the book and let me know what these are. These are pretty cool looking. They look like uh, ice balls or something. <laughs> All right, let's get to our cards. We have this one loose card. Looks like Eratobot and G-O-B-L-1-N, another enemy. Interesting, I'm wondering if these guys are sort of the, uh, um, the goblin or fish that you could just kind of bop and get coins, but. Oh, uh, yeah, it says don't discard after defeating you get a coin or a chip if you uh, defeat him. This one is three, takes you three. So uh, kind of cool, it gives us a couple of options for a, uh, a constant enemy to be attacking. Let's go ahead and open our decks here. We've got three decks. I, if I remember right, this is pretty much exactly how they set up uh, the original Clank. Let's go ahead and open these up. I do love it when they have easy open tabs like this. Some are better than the others. I, I really like the gold ones, but these ones work just as well most of the time. Right, this is not an expansion. This is uh, a standalone game. Oh, these are cool. Shapeshifter, Space Pirate. I love the art on these cards. Space Skunk. <laughs> I love it. Squawk Bot. Oh, Squawkbot's going to make noise. Battle School Genius. Now, some of these might be references that I'm, I'm not getting, but... Telepad Technician. The Baron's pretty cool looking. I like that they have this, like, cat uh, species in this game. Pretty neat. The Professor. Thieving Menace. Traitor. Lots of great cards. I love these uh, matrixy looking cards. You got account hack, door hack, registry hack. There you go. There's your Jidu laser sword. <laughs> Jidu. Ooh, a light scooter. I'm guessing that's going to be our, our Tron reference right there. Very cool. Gives you some movement. Power boots, that's cool. So now, yeah, I'm wondering, obviously this is something that you can pay, those uh, blue things that I had shown earlier. <laughs> hey, Michael, yeah, I wish that I could do a playthrough tonight. Unfortunately, we can't. If we've got some uh, free game nights opened up in November, I might bust out Clank in space. We did Clank before, and it was pretty popular, so people really like Clank. There are a lot of cards in this game. Of course it's going to be a lot of cards because this is, uh, you know, a deck building game, essentially. Would be gone. Anybody uh, know the reference that is? Lots of people should know that, that reference. I actually just mentioned it. <laughs> Imprisoned Pilot. Imprisoned Register. I'm wondering... Uh, how the prisoners uh, sort of work into it. I haven't read anything on this, so. Phaser. 
lots of phasers. I'm wondering, it looks like phaser is probably one of the, uh, the standard cards you can buy. Is he? Yeah. Boldly go. Again, that's a movement one and gives you some, some uh, action points to spend. I really hope that they have an expansion to this. And yeah, um, Michael, you, you, uh, <laughs> Michael, you had talked about matching the, uh, the expansion. Yeah, there was a slight discoloration, I think, from, uh, Clank to, uh, Clank Hidden Treasures. And, uh, I'm sure it doesn't bother some people, but for, for some of us, it's, it's a little bothersome when you're, when you're mixing cards up and you can tell which cards are from the expansion. But, uh, Hopefully that won't be an issue if they, they come out with an expansion for Clank in Space, which I'm sure they will. Now, I haven't gone through all the cards yet, but if you guys could see any uh, space reference in this game, what would you like to see? Got our kill bots. Ooh, Dark Jidu. <laughs> oh, I love it. It's a cross between uh, Darth Maul and, um, oh, what's his name? <laughs> Kylo Ren. There we go. Can't think. Mad Scientist. <laughs> An iPod. I love the humor in this game. And once again, just fantastic art. Hubba the Yurt. There's our Lord Eraticus. There's a big bad. You get seven coins for, for beating him and all players get a heart. And you move the boss marker up one space the rage one space up the rage track. That's pretty cool. And he flips over uh, your your other enemy. So the, he he actually does some some cool effects. This is not something that you were able to do in the original Clink which was attack the dragon, you couldn't do that. And this you'll actually be able to, to uh, attack Lord Eraticus when he comes up. Savage Gorklar? <laughs> Security officer, Shredbot. Just lots and lots of cool stuff. Exterminator. <laughs> of course that's our uh, alien version of Arnold there. Pretty cool. Android Diva. Looking a lot like uh, the diva from from one of my favorite movies. I can't even think of the name. Fifth Element. Nibbling Beast. Cranky Doctor. There's our Bones reference. Oh, and Doctor Whiskers. Everybody loves Whiskers from the original game, right? Mr. Whiskers. Thank you, yeah, Michael. Fifth Element. <laughs> Entertainer. There's Ruby Rod. Also Fifth Element. Ooh, Exo Stomper. I was waiting for a, uh, a more on-the-nose alien reference. There you go. Feline. <laughs> Furry Smuggler. There's more of our uh, cat race that we've seen a lot of. And he's got the... Uh, sort of bandolier thing that uh, Chewie has. Jidu Infiltrator. Alien Medic. Monkey Bot. Lots and lots of great cards. So here's, we're gonna have a few more gold banner cards here. There we go. Alright. So yeah, there's a lot of boldly goes, because that's something that you can buy at pretty much any time during the game. Memory core. So this is like the, um, I'm trying to remember what the, uh, the one was. I thought it was like a book or something. It's been a little while since I played Clank. But basically, it just gives you points at the end of the game. The memory core. Scott, yeah. Um, 
unless something has changed recently, Clank and Space is in stock. It is in stock and available at funnigan.com. Unless you're talking about in the stores. If you're talking about in the stores, I'm not sure. I'm sure that it will be in stores, but uh, I unfortunately do not know too much about the inventory for the stores. So, We've got our program hack, scramble, stumble. There's your stumble. That's always going to make a uh, clank. These are the uh, the starting cards here: hack, uh, scramble, access, and stumble. So those are the starting decks for all players. I don't think there's anything else left in here. Nope. So there's your starting decks. All right. So I'm actually going to move this out of the way real quick because I want to see this board sort of put together a little bit. Show you guys what this is going to look like when you're playing the game. Yeah, Scott, I'm, I'm sometimes out of the loop just because I'm always so busy doing uh, videos and marketing and stuff. Um, but I'm pretty positive that Clank in space is available right now at funnigan.com. So, all right. Let's see if I can do this without messing it all up. Book of Secrets. That sounds kind of familiar. Okay, so we're going to set this up this way. I do love the modular board. You're not going to use every piece, I don't think, or you might, but they are, they are flippable and reversible. So, yeah, this side here. I'm trying to get as much as I can in the camera, too. So, so this is obviously going to be put here. Now, you can, again, this is uh, hydroponics or engineering, and all the names are on the same side, so I guess it doesn't matter which way you put them. And I could be completely wrong about this. this is, there might be a very specific way that you need to put these, but they are reversible. Doomsday Cannon, Arena, that's pretty cool, Promenade, <laughs> Med Lab. We've got engineering and hydroponics. I'm going to put hydroponics up here. And that will lock in this other side. Then you'll be taking these other two and putting them together down here. Again, oh, very cool. OK. So then you've got this middle piece here, which is actually this guy. This fits right in there. There we go. Oh man, I love the new board for Clank in Space. That is just too cool. Thank you for putting up the link for uh, Clank in Space. Yeah, it's definitely on the website. All right, so let's go ahead and switch back to the other camera here. All right, guys, so that is it for what's inside of Clank in Space. Um, I didn't want to, you know, focus too much on every single card because there are a lot of cards in there. But uh, you can definitely check it out for yourself. It is on sale. Uh, not on sale, but it is for sale at funnigan.com right now. You can go check it out. Um, it's going to be a lot of fun. I can just tell by the board alone is going to change up a little bit of how you play. Going from the original clank to this clank. I also like uh, these guys are going to be another thing that will uh, change up gameplay as well as just some of the cards you just... It's going to make it so much more fun um, as they, you know, hopefully put out another expansion. There's a lot of cards in there. You, it's going to take a while to get through all of them, but uh, there's, there's a lot in there. So um, that is pretty much it. I do want to remind you guys that our Halloween sale is still going on. Our spooky sale is going on until uh, November 1st. They're, we're going to cut it off uh, early morning, November 1st. So be sure to go check that out. It's still going on at funagain.com. We have our last Halloween game night this coming Monday at 5.30 p.m. Pacific time. We're going to be playing Zombicide Black Plague with a fully painted set. It's going to look gorgeous. It's going to be a whole lot of fun. We're going to have some giveaways there. We're also going to have another giveaway and game night on our regular Wednesday game night next week. That is November 1st. 
uh, at 5.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. We're going to be playing Kapow, which is going to be on Kickstarter here pretty soon. That is pretty much it. If you are watching on Twitch, uh, Twitter, or YouTube, please subscribe. We're going to be doing a lot more videos streaming to those sites as well. We might even play with the idea of doing some uh, exclusive content for some of those sites. So let us know what you guys would like to see. Uh, that is pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for joining me this Saturday for Clank in Space, and we will see you on Monday.